Salvo module is what happens when you leave Engineer with your rocket launcher and he turns it into a shotgun. Salvo module allows you to charge up your rockets in the barrel and then shoot them out in a shotgun-like pattern, with each rocket loaded into the barrel dealing more damage than shooting one at a time, at the cost of no longer being able to guide the rockets, even though you can do this by just spamming the fire button. So in the end, Salvo module is just an added bonus to the hurricane that destroys bugs in your path. You'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, here we go. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Wait, what? Help! Help! I'm stuck! Dice, help me, help me, help me. Help. I'm going back. Uh, no! Boss, go save me! <laughs> oh, no. I thought that only left you fully left the ship. I'm starting this mission off great. Screw these goobers. No! I'm sorry, this is not bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. That charges up really fast. Holy crap. Alright. Cool? We cool? I got any more problems? Wow, it's a lot of gunk seeds. Crap. That breeder's still alive. Where's that other goober that just shot that at me? Where are you? There you are. Oh. Okay. I need to stop. I'm just gonna lose all my revives and I'm gonna be playing on hard mode. Yeah, let's get let's get serious now. No more dying for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, it's six, like right off the bat. Damn. All right. Anyways, <laughs> after losing all my revives, or at least almost, so I celebrated New Year's with my friends, and we all we all got together at one of our friends' place. We were just doing board games and all that, all that what's what's and what's. And my friend Sam, who made me the blood vial, made all of us dice bags. And she also decided to open up her Instagram. I'm gonna have to get her Instagram information and put it below in the video, but she makes really, really amazing things. And she puts a lot of love into her craft that she does. I can definitely see it in the blood vial that she made me. And it's just, she does such amazing work. So I would really hope that some of you would like to go check out her, her Instagram, see all the projects that she's made. She really likes doing dream catchers, and if you like to commission her, you can. Don't all just start commissioning her all at once now. Oh, cool, got the breeder. She made us these really, really cool dice bags. And I, I appreciate the hell out of her for making them. But yeah, no. I'll try, I'll try my best to get her Instagram. But what a fun way to start this mission off. Dying by my own hands by staying in the drop. I so badly want to get a loot bug, like a loot bug plush, but I don't know where to buy one. Does DRG have merch? Like, do they have like their own merch store? Because I would totally buy a loot bug plush. I also do know that someone made like a, an LED flare light. I do want to get that as well too. That would be really cool to get. I would just make it red because, you know, engineer is my most favorite class. He's the, he's the class that I main the most. I'm so excited for Rogue Core. Can't wait to play the alpha version. All right, now they're gonna put a lot of love into Rogue Core. Can't wait for all to see all like the new enemies that we're gonna be facing, what the new like classes are gonna be, all the weapons, the abilities. They're all just gonna be so good. Hopefully, they transfer some of the abilities over to DRG as well too. That would be really nice. I do know that they said they were going to release Rogue Core first and then do Season 5. They might release Season 5 first so we can get like a, a glimpse at what the backstory is behind Rogue Core. And then we'll, we'll get Rogue Core and actually see what, what's going down. Actually, Bosco, I might wait on you 
holding that egg. Never mind. <laughs> I completely forgot to press X. Oh no. Well, loot bug. Pray to the loot bugs. That we get enough nitra. Thank you, loot bug gods. Yep. Cool. What's cool. up? So I'll be two rockets to set them on fire and keep them alive. Damn it. it just happened so fast. This is what I want for the Warthog, just like a fire mod to set them on fire. That would be so nice. Frustrated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I knew that cluster grenade was gonna kill me. Damn it! I should have just kept shooting with my coil gun. Ah, no. Oh, I'm out of coil gun ammo, anyways. Alright, all of them were gone. <laughs> and we lost all our revives. Cool. Well, now we are in hard mode. No, the real hard mode is Hazard 6. <laughs> I feel so bad for all of you that played along with me in Hazard 6. Cause I'm just I've never played Hazard 6 before. Or at least I've never seriously played Hazard 6 before. I've only ever kinda funny played it as a meme with my friend. Because we played it when it like just released on YouTube and we knew about it. And so we decided to get it and try it out on Industrial Sabotage. And boy oh boy, was that a bad idea. It seems like Driller and playing Egg Hunt are the only ways for me right now to absolutely wreck on Hazard Six times two. But I'm gonna be practicing. I, I do wanna I do wanna get good at Hazard Six. Because coming back to this, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Hazard five is, is a lot easier. I say that as I'm out of revives. That's just because I'm stupid. I'm only saying this because I'm acting a fool. No, my Steve. Nice. Was that really it? There's gotta be more. No, I hear a warden. Nope. That's it's better now. That ass is pretty bad. Where's that acid spitter at? Oh. Thank you, Bosco. Oh yeah, so me and my girlfriend, we finished playing our Dark Souls run. That was really, really fun. See, it was really easy because I had a Black Knight Albert the whole time. <laughs> I kind of like finished the game really, really fast, actually. I kind of forgot how slow a lot of the bosses are. Like Seath's fight, I even got like the Moonlight Greatsword from Seath's fight as well, too. The gaping dragon. Aw, but Sif. Sif's fight always makes me cry. Every single time. Especially if you do Artorius first. It's sad boy hours up in here. Oh, I'm out. Help. Oh, gonna get more. Now we're on to Dark Souls 3. I kind of just refuse to play Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Mainly because I want to replay it my... S I kind of want to play it by myself again. Just to see if I can get good <laughs> at it. 
I'm gonna play it again on my PS4. I played it on my Xbox twice because I beat it twice, once in normal game and the other in new game. But that was the only two times I ever played Dark Souls 2. I never really liked it. Didn't really care for it too much. Like the story is really good for Dark Souls 2, but I just feel like a lot of the boss fights didn't really hit home with me, like how Dark Souls 1 and 3 did. I don't know. What really dropped the ball for me for Dark Souls 2 though is the NPCs. A lot of their quests are not the best, to say the least. I just feel like wild goose hunt chases, and then at the end of them they're just like, ah oh, yes, I am dead now. There's no reward, no emotional attachment, except for this one random item that you're getting. I'm gonna play Dark Souls 2 again, but like on my own time. Oh, I hear a warden. No. Shut up. Swarm? Yep. Does this cause fear? Because that Praetorian was running away from me like it was. Ooh. Okay, I was gonna say, that would have been a really bad spot. I hear a goober. Where is it? Hmm, really bad spot to be in. Not the ideal spot to be in. Oh, especially that one. Save me, wall, save me! <laughs> For a goober. That goober was just like, hello, goodbye. Goober? Stop running away like Brackens. They act like Brackens from Lethal Company. Like that you see it and it's just like, I run away. I will say though, coming from Hazard 6 to Hazard 5, that is just, uh, it's just so much easier now. In my, in my eyes now, it's just like, this is not the hardest mission possible. There's more. Time to get the flip out of here. Mm. Okay. <sighs> How to have a heart attack. Step one, play this game. Oh my God. Help me Bosco, help me. Help me get back up. And let's not make the same mistake again. Of course there would be a drop pod, like, hole right next to where I need a zip line. Okay, at least we're up here. This time, I'm gonna create my own. <laughs> I seriously thought that was game over there. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm gonna have to restart recording now. I was already ready, I was like, ah, rocket stuff, get the hell out of here, nanocytes. Ooh, that was a close call. Nice. Oh, the viking helmet, oh, it just looks so cool. Hell yeah. Get out of here. 